Hello, my name is Brent and I'm a front-end web developer at Atten Design Group. In this screencast, I'll be showing you how to set up an automated deployment so when you update content on your Drupal site, it'll automatically rebuild your Gatsby site. And now that we have a Gatsby site pulling in content from Drupal, it would be great to be able to put this on a live server. First, we need to find a host for our Gatsby site and I would highly recommend Netlify. They have built-in amazing features specifically for static site generators and apps. So we can use Netlify and I'm going to log in and I can add a new Gatsby site from here. But before I do, I need to put our Gatsby site in a repo. Let's go to GitHub and let's add a new repo and create that and let's copy the remote origin and let's go to the command line and let's kill off the development and let's clear this out. Let's do a git init and add the remote let's see what we have to add and everything looks good let's do our git our initial git commit so we're adding everything with a very generic commit message and let's push this if i go back to the browser and refresh we have our Gatsby site. Now let's go back to Netlify and click the new site from Git. And I'm going to use GitHub and I'm going to authorize Netlify. Now I need to select my Gatsby site. There we go. Okay, it already knows that it's Gatsby because it can detect those settings and it knows when it's updated, it needs to run the Gatsby build command and it's gonna publish the content in the public directory. And there are uh, some advanced settings, you can add variables, uh, but really, and you can even change the uh, branch to deploy, but we're gonna use all the default options and what this is going to do is anytime there is a change to the master branch, it's going to rebuild our Gatsby site. So I'm going to press deploy site and it's going to start building our Gatsby site. Now, while it's doing that, we need to address a very important thing. When we have content coming from a third party source like Drupal, the big question is how does Gatsby know when to rebuild the site and to pull in that new content from Drupal's JSON API? And I found there are a couple modules to handle this. So there's two modules that I found. We got the webhooks module and Let's install this. The other option is a new module called Netlify Webhooks that looks really promising. I haven't used it yet, but let's first start by using Webhooks. It's been out for a little bit longer. Let's start testing this first. We're going to copy that and let's install a, another module in our Drupal site. Okay, so let's enable webhooks. Let's install that. And let's go to configuration. And webhooks underneath web services. And this is where we can add a new webhook. So let's click add webhook. Of course, we don't know what the webhook's gonna be until we build our Gatsby site. So let's go back to Netlify 
and it says that it's been published. So our first build has been successful and we can go to this URL to test it out. It's gonna look really amazing. So that is our site. It's working just fine. And now if we go back to our overview and underneath site settings and build and deploy, we have a option to add a build hook. So you can read this documentation and I'll tell more about it, but I'm gonna click add web hook and we're gonna just call this get speed build and press save. Now we have our web hook. So we'll, let's copy this URL right here. And now we can go back to our Drupal site and we can add that payload URL and we can give it also a, let's call it get, or maybe it's better if we call it Netlify Gatsby build. You can call it whatever you like. And it's an outgoing webhook. There's obviously incoming and outgoing webhooks, but we need to send this to Netlify to let them know that the Gatsby site needs to be rebuilt. And to trigger that, we have a few options. So uh, users that are created, updated, or deleted can trigger it, or nodes or comments. So I'm going to run this webhook whenever a node has been created, updated, or deleted. So I'm going to press save. Okay, now we have our webhook set up. Now all we need to do is test it out. Let's go to content and homepage and let's edit this. And press save. Okay, so it's been saved. It should call the webhook. Let's go back to Netlify and see if this actually happened. So let's go to overview and I can already see that a the webhook has triggered a build. So it's in the process of building. Okay, now I can see it's been published and let's test this out by going to our Gatsby site and clicking refresh. So we have our first test build one Netlify, which that doesn't, let's, let's fix that. So going back, let's edit that. Let's save this and quickly go to Netlify and I can see if I refresh, it's already queued up a, another build. And while it's doing the build, uh, one other cool thing that Netlify offers with webhooks, underneath notifications, we can add a notification to myself or someone else. We can add it to a Slack channel. We can send it to ourselves via an email message, or you can add a commit message in GitHub. They ha there are a few options there, which is great. Let's go back to the overview, see where we're at. Let's refresh. So it's still queued up. And if I click on that, I can see what is going on so it's in the process okay now that's done let's go back to the main page and go back to our site so if you do a hard refresh you can see the site's been updated so this is how you can automatically deploy changes from your Drupal site to your Gatsby site.